A new feature in Microsoft Teams is priority notifications. These allow a person to click the little exclamation mark when they send a message and select either important or urgent. An important message just gets a banner saying this is important in red and people can see that someone wants, a, wants to get on top of it rather quickly. Uh, a bit like when someone marks something as urgent over email. Uh, we all uh, might choose or, or decide not to pay attention to those. But urgent notifications, on the other hand, are a little bit more intrusive to the person that receives them because the user can choose who sends the message to repeatedly notify that person every two minutes for up to 20 minutes until they see it. That's on mobile, that's on desktop. That means that it can be a little bit more annoying for people that receive those messages. There's also some licensing implications as well if you choose to use priority notifications. F1 and E1 licenses, so that's Office 365 E1, Microsoft 365 F1, Office 365 F1, users will, from 2020, get five notifications that they can send per month. Whereas E3 and above users for Microsoft 365 and Office 365 will be able to send as many as they like. Now, it might be that you want to do a bit of research first to see whether the business really needs these and will benefit from them. Because it might be that actually it might cause more harm than good in some organizations, especially if people might tend to abuse them or they might tend to use them to try and get their tasks uh, prioritized above others. And it might be that you want to look to assign these to people who will actually gain a business benefit from them, who the business needs them to accomplish things quickly, uh, especially first line workers who might need special licensing for it, their managers who might need to coordinate what they're doing. And in the office workers side, then those kind of people who work in roles where they need to get actions from people very quickly, like receptionists or coordinators. So what you might want to do after picking who those people are is switch it off at a global level and then assign it on a per user basis to different people. Now we can do that if we go into the Teams Admin Center and go into the Teams Admin Center and click Messaging Policies and you'll find in there the global organizational wide default policy for everybody. Now if we go into there and we make changes, then we can select all different options. We've got all of the messaging policies. This is not a specific set of policies only for priority notifications. In here, scroll down to the bottom and you'll find let users send urgent messages using priority notifications. If you switch this off within up to, in my testing, about 24 hours, this will start to take effect with people's Teams clients. So don't expect it to work just like that. It'll take a little while to take effect. Now, it might be that you actually want to go into here and create a new policy. And we can go and add a custom messaging policy. Now again, this affects lots of different settings, not just priority notifications. So I might create one, for example, for power users, set the same settings I've got in my global policy. And in here, this is where I might either switch it on or off for different groups of users. So in this policy I've just created, I've created a policy where I've created that policy and it's only gonna affect power users. Now I'm then going to go into users and I'm going to select users and in the Teams Admin Center I can pick up to 20 people at a time and once I've selected those people I can go edit settings and select the messaging policy, that new power users policy I've created and apply it to all of those people. Or if I want to I can go in and I can select an individual user and I can apply that policy to them as well. So if I go in here and I select, I'll select me, I'll go into my user, I'll scroll down and I'll click on the policies tab here and then I'll click edit. And you'll see I get that same menu where I can then go and select from the drop down power users and sign that policy. And again, these will take a little while to be applied. So that is what they look like. Now, once we've applied these policies, you'll see that if you did have that exclamation mark, uh, attached underneath the, the box where you send a message, then it's no longer here. So not only when we do disable priority notifications does it stop them sending urgent messages, it also stops them sending important messages too. So make sure you use this new functionality and the options to disable it or enable it wisely.